I'm pretty sure this scene from The Godfather sums up my thoughts on this movie. Look on a mask with my boy. Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today I am going to be reviewing the Tom and Jerry movie. That is the one <clears throat> from 2021, not the one from the 90s. That was really terrible. Um, <clears throat> this movie stars Chloe Grace Moretz, Michael Pena, Colin Jost, and Jordan B Bulger, and was directed by Tim Story, and is about Jerry, um, the mouse Jerry, who takes re refuge in a hotel uh, in New York City, and... Tom is hired to catch him before a huge celebrity wedding could take place. Okay. Um let's talk about the let's talk about the history I have with Tom and Jerry, okay? I said this in my trailer review when I reviewed the first trailer that um these characters mean a lot to me. The and it would be a nightmare if they butchered them. Um <clears throat> Uh, I would, uh, when I was a kid, I would always go to my, well, like a younger kid, I would always go to my grand, my grandma's house, and my grandpa, and my grandpa would always put on Tom and Jerry or Looney Tunes, I always enjoyed both, Tom and Jerry was one of them, I watched them a lot, I even bought um, an entire restored version of the old classic Tom and Jerry's from like the 40s, 50s, 40s and 50s, and some in 60s as well, um, th those ones I always watch and always enjoy, um, so yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Tom and Jerry franchise, well, at least the older ones, um, so I was definitely terrified watch watching this movie, about to watch this movie, and with all the negative things I heard since I didn't watch this movie until a little bit after all the negative reviews came out, I was expecting wor the worst, and to be honest, it's about as bad as I thought. <laughs> In fact, I actually might think it's worse than I heard. Like, this movie has a 5.3. In my opinion, this movie should have a 3.5. This movie sucks, okay? I, I, I really hate this movie. Now, it comes from the same director as Fantastic Four, the original 2005 version, which, you know, just says everything you need to know. Uh, he also directed this, this movie, directed this movie called Barbershop, which I heard was pretty good, but I haven't seen it, so I can't, ju I can't say it. All right, let's talk about the reason why I actually hate this movie. Tom and Jerry's barely in it, as you might expect from a movie like this. Uh, in my trailer review, I specifically remember saying, "I hope they don't turn it into another one of those Smurf movies." They did. They did exactly that. Instead of actually honoring the source material. They just downright try to modernize it, and it doesn't work. Um, it, it does not work well at all, and this is why these movies fail. That's why Scoob failed. Um, do not modernize something if it doesn't need to be modernized. That's also why the Lorax and Cat in the Hat failed. Um, but yeah, um, oh jeez, let's, let's, let, I'm just gonna talk about spoilers, okay, okay, screw it, I'm spoiling this movie, no one, no one needs to know, no one should see this movie, I shouldn't have seen it, I, I should have just listened to all the bad press, but I, I wanted to watch this one just because, well, I mean, the premise is, you know, interesting, I mean, the movie just could have been about Tom and Jerry just chasing each other around New York while, like, the cops are trying to get them, it could have been a fun movie, it isn't. This movie is very boring, in my opinion. Uh, one thing, it isn't, it isn't, one, one thing about the old Tom and Jerry movie, the Tom and Jerry shorts, is that they were funny. This movie is not funny. It's not funny at all. Um, all right, I'll, I'll give it this. Michael Pena had a few, had a few lines that made me kind of go like, <laughs> that's about it. That's about it. No laughs, no, no chuckles from me. Um, and I, and I'm the one that kind of found movies like Zoolander, like, or, you know, I find Zoolander and, like, Dumb and Dumber, like, slap your knee hilarious. And, yes, those movies are good, actually. Um, so, dumb humor does not... I, I'm not, like, immune to dumb humor or anything. But those mo those movies, despite being, you know, dumb and stupid, they had some brains behind them. Like, there are some parts that you could tell actually... People actually, you know, thought this out. This movie is just stupid to just stupid no, nothing there's nothing smart about this movie it's stupid all right i'll, I'll give it this I'll, I'll give props to the animators for at least keeping their original design and not making them look realistic and keeping them cartoony 
I respect that. That's about the only thing I respect about this movie. Um, I'm glad they kept them looking 2D, even though it looks very wonky. It, um, I, I'm glad they kept that. Um, we haven't had a lot of live action animation hybrid mixes in a long, um, in a long time. I think the last one was Cool World. I don't know. I don't know. And even then I heard that movie was terrible. Um, so, so far I think the only good one is Who Framed Roger Rabbit still. Oh man, it's a, I don't know. There's probably another one out there, but I haven't heard of it or I forgot. Give us one of these kind of movies, Hollywood, and make them good, please. Because it's a very interesting um, ad- uh, technological um, advancement that has only been done a few times, and even then, only one of them, of, of I know, of works. But anyway, this movie is. Oh, like, alright, acting wise, not good. The acting isn't very good. Um, Chloe Grace Moretz has been good in other things. Like, I heard she was really good in Kick Ass and Let Me In. Uh, I haven't seen neither of those. My brother saw Kick Ass, but, you know, you know, I know I shouldn't be saying the A word, but I have to in order to say the title of the name. Um, the, the title of the movie. Movie. Um, and, and she was good in Hugo. I heard, and Michael Pena has been great in movies like Ant-Man and Fury, which is his under, my, his most underrated performance is Fury. Um, but yeah, just like, um, like he's not having the best career right now because, uh, he just had, uh, uh, Fantasy Island, I think it was, and that movie was terrible, so, <clears throat> Yeah, no, no, no. These people have been good before and other things. Not this one, though. And about the whole wedding thing, like, it clearly is just there to pad the runtime because they clearly did not know what to do. And in my opinion, I don't think Tom and Jerry works in a feature-length movie, especially in a hundred-minute movie. This movie is way too long. Like, Tom and Jerry works as a contained seven-minute short fill of nothing but slapstick that's what tom and jerry was and that's what made it funny and every time they tried to go over that it was just it was just bad i i think it works better like that not like this it could have made a great short film and maybe it could have been great then but this movie is too long It, it like there's um like the original tom and jerry's i'll admit they're not art or anything they're entertaining and they're fun and they're and i love watching them this movie it's it's terrible at it like especially the slapstick which is really underwhelming i mean there's also a scene where they're watch where jerry's watching young frankenstein and i'm like oh well look at a movie i'd rather be watching because that movie's actually good because i love young frankenstein i love almost anything mel brooks does so um, what else to talk about? This movie's very forgettable. Oh, yeah, there's a few things that just grated on my nerves. Tom flosses, and that made me physically lock up, because I'm like, really? Really? I cringed on Son- when Sonic did it, and I cringed when Tom did it. I know, it's just just a stupid dance, but it makes me cringe for some reason. Um, they mentioned TikTok, which, you know... <sighs> glorious, glorious, glorious. Um, uh, they me- they mention emojis, and they're like a fish has a thought bubble of a poop emoji, which, you know, after the emoji movie, I have a burning hatred for emojis, besides the middle finger emoji, which is that the emoji movie gets that one. Um, all right, what else? What else just grated on my nerves? Jerry in this movie, he really did. Um, alright, I'm not gonna act like he wasn't annoying a little bit, but he was, you know, fighting for his life at least, so I can understand why he'd want to torture Tom who's trying to kill him. But, in this one, he's, Tom's just trying to get money, he's pretending, yeah, he's scamming people, but he's just trying to get money to get a place to live, become a musician or whatever. And, Jerry just mucks the whole thing up. Like, he just, he, like, Tom didn't even attack him. They haven't even met yet. And, Jerry just starts screwing him up, screwing him over. And I'm like, Jerry's a bastard. Like, like, he's such a, he's such a, 
he's such a jerk in this movie and and not even like in a, in a funny way just more like a way you just want to grab him and strangle him and then crush him with your foot um i i, I might have some issues okay oh boy anything else to talk about oh yeah there's a joker reference there's a billboard with droopy dressed as joker and it says put on a happy face yeah like all the nine year all like the four-year-olds watching this movie definitely know or saw what joker is like seriously if a four-year-old or six seven-year-old saw this movie and understood the joker reference i'd be a little concerned i love joker don't get me wrong i don't think um that was a good call because, you know, ah, oh, jeez. Oh, man. And this whole, and these two elephants talk like, like they're typos. No, not typos. Like, they talk like OMG. They're like, oh, OMG, I'm LOL. I'm like, no one talks like that. D- stop talking like that. Jeez. Ah. Sorry, as you can tell, I'm really upset that this on how this movie turned out. I don't hate any of the people in this movie for making it. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't misquote me on that. I don't hate everyone that done the, that did this movie. They've all done better things. But the script for this movie is awful. Everyone makes a um a dud every now and then. Who knows? Maybe they've made the writers have made some great films. So if that's the case, um. I'll put them in the description of other good films the writers have made. Um, mostly, if it, re- whether I've seen them or not, I'll just go by their highest IMDb score. Usually, for me, a good movie has to be at least over the 6.5 in order to be considered a decent movie. Or, you know, at least if I like it. I've liked some movies that are under that. But, oh my lord, this this movie was wasted potential. This movie could have been so much fun. This movie could have been so good. But... In reality, it's just another cash grab. It's another stupid movie putting a char- putting two classic characters from your childhood, putting them in New York City of all things, putting them in the real world where they don't belong, putting <clears throat> making them with a bunch of boring human characters that are either unlikable or you just don't care about. Spend more time with the humans than with any with the characters you paid to see. And basically just put them in a bunch of unfunny scenarios and just, I don't know, throw darts at a board and just, you know, struggle to come up, come up with the what happens next in the story, which this movie clearly has too much story for a Tom and Jerry movie. Usually I'd complain that this movie doesn't have enough story. This movie has too much story for that I would ever seem to care for a Tom and Jerry movie. Oh yeah, and another thing that just grated on my nerves are these pigeons. There are these three pigeons that narrate the movie, or at least a few times, not all the time. But they rap. Yeah, there's rap in a Tom and Jerry movie. You know, when I think of rap, I think of Tom and Jerry. Or when I think of Tom and Jerry, I think of rap. Not jazz, which is the original movies had a very jazzy uh, OST, which... You know, was great because I'm a huge fan of jazz. And, you know, and I'm like, jazz isn't dead. People still like jazz. I mean, you know, the movie Soul was about jazz. Um, like, seriously, people still like jazz. Like, like, why do you have to put so much freaking current pop songs and rap in this movie? This, like, they did the same thing with Scoob. It's just, it's mind numbing. Ah! Ah! Sorry. All right, all right. One more thing that great on my nerves, Tom. They're they're doing an homage to uh, a Tom and Jerry short I saw, where Tom sees a female cat. He's trying to impress her by like singing to her. He's singing an auto tune, and I'm like, wow, he has the Travis Scott um uh, auto tune mic. <laughs> but he doesn't. He he's just singing an auto tune. Like what? Like, why is he singing in auto-tune? My God! Ah. Alright. I'm obviously overreacting here. I'm overreacting. I need to settle down. I need to settle down here for a second. I'm starting to sweat. Probably because it's just hot in my room, but... Oh, boy, this movie. This movie blows, okay? 
Uh, what else can I talk about? I, I'm more ranting than reviewing. This is not a professional review. I'm more just ranting about it. I need to get... Because all this anger has been building up inside of me. The more I watch this movie, the more I just felt angry. I'm like, Because I'm like, these are characters that I've grown and loved. I know it's a movie. It's not meant to be taken seriously, but these characters I've known my entire childhood. And they butchered it. With the Smurfs, I didn't see those. I did not grow up with the Smurfs. I'll admit that. Neither with Yogi Bear. Or any other one. Or I grew up with Mario, but I, I didn't see the Mario movie. <clears throat> this is just... It's just another terrible movie made just for the sake of making money. And I watched it for free on HBO Max. I mean, I, wa I watched it the first day I got HBO Max. Thank God I balanced it out by also watching Judas and the Black Messiah, which will be my next review, by the way. And I know you probably want me to talk about movies like the new Oscar noms coming out, but um, I'm about to get Netflix again soon, so I will be ha watching a lot more Oscar movies lately, and I will be reviewing more. I just got on spring break, so reviews will be more frequent, so... I think that that'll be it for the day for Tom and Jerry. So, um, in conclusion, this movie sucks. It's not good. I hate it. I hate every minute of it. Every second of this movie, I hate it. Um, I respect the animators for trying, and Michael Pena had a few comedic one-liners, or more the way he phrased things more than the actual lines. But all these people have been better in other things. This movie could have been so much better. I could say that about any movie. Any movie could be great. It just depends on the execution. That's the only thing that you really need to worry about. Execution. This movie could have been great. It, it ended up going the opposite direction. This is everything I was scared this movie would be. And I was right. And I was right when immediately when I saw a scene. When I, they released an, a scene from this movie. I immediately knew I was in trouble. All right. I'm going to give Tom and Jerry an F and is an unholy abomination. Now, you might be thinking, calm down. This is just a movie for kids. This is not to be taken seriously. You know, don't don't use that. Don't do not do not use that because kids movies should be taken seriously. Not a wink wink at the camera. They know they're bad. They should be taken seriously. Like movies like Soul, Inside Out. And to be honest, I have a really silly concept. So Coco as well. Little Prince. Ernest and, Ernest and Celestine. Um, Big Bad Fox, Other Tales. They all have silly concepts. But they took themselves seriously, and that's what made them good. This movie did not, and it ended up being terrible. Alright, I'm done. Goodbye.